going to be re representing Renee's Garden, the Planters Garden TV Herb Garden Challenge. Woohoo! So today is a day that my purple basil has decided it is getting a little leggy. So I need to put them in its pots that I have already labeled here. And I have separated them into these 12 um, seedlings here. Let me show you one of them. I separated them because I wanted to make sure I could put each one of them in its own individual pot. You see how leggy it is? So when I um, bury these into their pots, I'm going to go high. I'm going to try to get them to at least up to here. And then that way, all this extra legginess of their stem will be under the wonderful soiling. Yes, I'm inside my garage. So let's get to planting up my plants so I can get them big and strong and looking beautiful. Woohoo! All right, let's get to planting. So I have my dirt over here and I have my little planting pots that I have. And here we go. Let's put some dirt in this first pot. I'm going to make sure that I make a little well in the bottom because that is where this plant will be sitting. And I want to make sure I give it a good, good start. So I'm going to set this plant like this. As you guys can see, I'm going to sit it in the middle of this pot. And then I am going to just fill some dirt all around it. And I'm going to make sure... I make it nice and strong because I love cooking with this purple basil. It, the smell of it is just amazing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put the soil all around it so it won't be having to be fighting for the sun and I can make the stem just a little bit tougher because that's what my main thing is. I want to make it tough, strong, and I hope you guys are having a great time in this challenge as I am for the 2023 Planters Garden Herb Challenge. Woohoo! I get so excited when I look at these herbs and now this is when the fun part is because we're going to be planting them up and this is when they're going to start growing. So see, that's how I'm going to have mine and I have 11 more to go. All right, guys, so I'm going to finish planting these and once I get them all planted up, I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like. Now it's time to get my thyme planted up and it is right here and I've already got it labeled so I am going to get this planted up a little dirt at the bottom like I did my basil and I'm going to just stick this time right in the middle and I'm just going to stick some dirt around the base of it Tuck it all nice and neat so it can start growing for me and give me some beautiful time so I'll be able to cook with this spring and summer months. I can't wait to create a better version of my herb garden that I already have outside. So that's why I'm enjoying this challenge so much. Because it is encouraging me to get out there and get my herb garden where it needs to be. So that is the first one all planted up. So let me go ahead and finish planting the last three. And then I'll show you where my basil and this thyme will be living until it is time for me to plant it outside. Guys, all my thyme is all planted up and they are in their semi-permanent home 
until I can get them outside and put them in their forever home. But I wanted to just give you guys a look at my thyme and how it is growing. I'm so excited because I am just can't wait to put them outside and let their journey begin in their forever home, which is the herb garden. Woohoo! So let me go take you and show you where I'm going to be putting these thyme and show you where the basil is as well. All right, guys, let's go put them in their spots. Right here is all my thyme and my basil, my purple basil is all in its spot. They are looking so good, and I am hoping that you guys are having great results on your plants for this Planters um, Herb Garden Challenge 2023, because I know I am having a blast growing these herbs. So I will keep you guys updated and let you know how they are doing, but these babies are all tucked in. Look at the basil. It's all tucked in. Time looks good. And so I am hoping and praying that all you guys are having good results on your plants as well. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. And let's grow some herbs. Thanks again, Planters Garden TV, for issuing this challenge because it is going to be a very fun time, a very educational time, and a way to get some herbs growing in your garden. And also to fellowship with the other gardeners participating in this challenge together. All right. Take care, you guys. Bye.